That'd be comedy for Thursday nights on BBC Two. Where to, gentlemen? Town Square, por favor. Take the scenic route, grasses. You want holidays? That's right, dear. Want to soak up some sights, you know. You and your friend? That's right. Oh, look at the lights glistening off the sea, Leonard. Smashing. So, uh, what do you get up to tonight? Oh, you know, taking some tapas, glass of vino tinto for me, sparkling mineral for Leonard. If you want, I can take you to a good bar. Mooch is gracias, but we're not big drinkers. He's had bypass. <laughs> well, it's a good bar for men like you. Lots of boys in shorts, disco dance. <laughs> Homo Lulu is Paul. <laughs> Pardon, senor? I say, he's called Homo Lulu. Yes, I heard that bit. All the boys love Homo Lulu, eh? Homo Lulu? <laughs> what on earth are you insinuating? Oh, you will love it. Lots of pretty boys, eh? How very dare you. <laughs> I've never been so insulted. Wait, you mean that uh, you are not... Uh... Oh, dear me, dear gay, dear no, dear. <laughs> I just asked whom. Uh... You asked whom? <laughs> you asked whom? <laughs> just because a man spends a little too much on hand cream and knows all the lines to all about Eve, you accuse him of being a receiver of swollen goods. <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it. How very, very dare you? <laughs> 25 years Mother and I have been coming to this island and I've never heard anything like it. Never in all me born. I find you... impertinento. <laughs> Look, my friend... Stop the car. We'll walk. Homolulu. <laughs> How very dare you. <laughs> This is going to be fierce. In it, eh? Ryan's going to be well impressed when he sees what I'm doing. When he sees what I'm doing, mate. <laughs> but he'll be looking at me, though. That he'll be looking at me, though. But he's only got eyes for me, is it? But I am well better than you, mate. <laughs> but you are dreaming. But I ain't, though. But you are, though. But I ain't, though. Well, let's find out, then, is it? <laughs> Lise? One, two, three, four. Oh, Ryan, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Ryan! Hey, Ryan! Oh, Ryan, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Ryan! Hey, Ryan! Oh, Ryan, what a pity you don't understand. You tell me by the heart when you tell me by the hand. Oh, Ryan, you're so pretty, can't you understand? It's guys like you, Ryan! Oh, what you do, Ryan, do, Ryan! So break my heart, Ryan! Hey, Ryan! <laughs> Cheerleading. Well, she can't even cheerlead like I can, is it? No way, mate. Your moves are fierce. Isn't it, though? But whose moves are better, mate? You are so the best cheerleader in Tunbridge Wells. <laughs> but she can't even cheerlead, is it? What are you chatting about? I ain't chatting about nothing. But I heard you chatting. You didn't hear me chatting. Did you hear her chatting? I heard her chatting. Did you hear me chatting? I didn't hear you chatting. I won't even chatting. See, look, you're chatting. Who told you I was chatting? I can hear you chatting. Well, shut up, then. <laughs> you can't even cheerlead, though. But you can't throw my shapes, mate. I so can. But you can't even freestyle. But I can, though. But you can't, though. But I can, though. But you can't, though. But I can, though. But is it that you can do this? <laughs> is it that you can do this? <laughs> that you can do this. <laughs> that is well shameful. You 
are, you mean? But you look like a numpty. Yeah? You're just jealous. But you don't even know anything about American football, though. But I do, though. But you don't even know what position Ryan plays in. Yes, I do, though. No, you don't know. <coughs> yes, I do, mate. No, you don't, mate. You are so lame. What position does Ryan play, then? Quarter panda. <laughs> You what, mate? Quarter panda. <laughs> Is it? It's a quarterback, mate. What? It's quarterback. Quarter pounder. That is well bad. <laughs> you thought it was a burger. Take the shame. <laughs> Quarter pounder. Do you want some fries with that? <laughs> I is well good at that. <laughs> Let's chip. <laughs> Am I bothered? But me. Am I bothered though? But listen. But I ain't even bothered. No. But, but I ain't even bothered though. Yeah. But do you but think I'm bothered? No. I ain't but even bothered. Yeah, is but my you, face bothered? But is my just... face bothered though? Yeah, but is me. Is this the face of bothered? Take the shame. No, because I ain't even bothered. But he just walked in here. I don't even care because I ain't even bothered. But he just walked in here. Who did, mate? Ryan just walked in here. No, he didn't. Ryan just walked in here and snogged their face off. I didn't even see him. <laughs> but he coming in with his helmet on. But that was a spaceman. <laughs> Ryan, he come in here with his helmet on, stuck his tongue down her throat and left you stood here like a muppet. Mate, just fine. Yeah, I'm a bother. Look, I'm fine. I ain't even bothered. Look, fine, it's bothered. Four pounds there, I ain't even bothered. Pom pom, cheerleaders, I ain't even bothered. Look, fine, it's bothered. I ain't bothered. I ain't bothered. I ain't bothered. Look, fine, it's four pounders, gherkins, I ain't even bothered. Look, I don't even care. I ain't even bothered. Look, mayonnaise, I ain't even bothered. Don't even care. I ain't even bothered though. Tomato sauce, I ain't even bothered. I don't even care. I'm on the Atkins, I don't want the bun. I ain't even bothered. Give me a B. What? Give me a B. What? Give me a B. Why? Just give me a B. What? Just give me a B. Just give me a B. B. Give me an O. O. Give me a V. V. Give me another V. V. Do you see where I'm going with this? Mate, I was give just... Give me an I. I. Give me an eight. Eight. Give me a bothered. What have you got? I ain't bothered! <laughs> I've forgot my helmet. Oh, I'm just about ready for my bed, Neville. It's been like Spaghetti Junction here today. Double cheeseburger, no chips. That's the ticket. You will not believe who was stood there stuffing her face with onion rings not two hours hence. Who was that then? Black woman. Big toothy grin. Double white for herself. American. Diana Ross. What, here? Yeah? <laughs> no! Vernon, what was her name? Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> the security advisor to President Bush. Yeah. I could smell the booze from here. She winked. Been out on a bender, I suppose. That's it. She'd been caning it big styly down gossips. Well, it was ladies' night, wasn't it? Bowled up here with the munchies on the way home. To America? No, she's staying with her Auntie Betty at the Jackson Heights estate. <laughs> Dreading going back, she was on account of the lifts being out. So, she's from around here originally. Davenport Street. Her dad ran a tyre shop. <laughs> yeah, I cracked a joke. I said, here, Condoleezza Rice. I know your sister. She goes, what, Alafisha? 
I goes, no, eggy fried. <laughs> she nearly wet herself. Any sauce? Uh, no, thanks. Can I sell that with you on Friday? Of course you can, Neville. Bye-bye, Neville. Oh, don't start. <laughs> My name's Sam Speed, Detective Sergeant Sam Speed, Thames Valley Police. In 2006, I was on a routine inquiry when this happened. I was hit by a car traveling at 60 miles an hour. And when I woke up, it was 1951. <laughs> Am I dead, in a coma, or gone back in time? Looks like you come a right nasty copper there, so it does. How about we help you back on your bike? <laughs> Whatever's happened, it's like I've landed on a different planet. This is my house. At least, it looks like my house. Hello, son. I've been expecting you. I'm Mrs. Willow, but everyone calls me Ma. Expecting me? Well, you live for the room, ain't you? Now, listen up. House rules. If you want any supper, you'll be back indoors by 6.30. It's livered on Monday, so it on Tuesday. Livered on Wednesday, so it on Thursday. Fish and chips on Friday. On Saturday, it's a surprise and it's a roast on the Sabbath. You'll be in your bed by 10 and sat down for your breakfast by 7. You can have bread and dripping during the week, porridge on Saturday and a good Suffolk sausage every second Sunday. <laughs> and if you see my genie knocking about the place, you should leave her alone. She's a bride page, but she's promised to a farmer. Because I tell you this, police fella or no police fella, if you give me any trouble, you'll be out of that door quicker than you can say do lally tap. <laughs> well, don't stand there on the doorstep bawling like a dullard. People think I'm a scarlet woman, so they will. Pero me lo podrías haber dicho antes. Es la tercera vez que me haces esto. No puede ser. Sí, okay. Bueno, sí. Chao. Is everything all right? No, my salsa partner has gone back to South America to open a salsa school. Well, that's good, isn't it? No, who else am I going to dance with? Isn't there anyone else at your salsa class? They're all beginners. It's very hard to find someone who can really dance salsa. I can do that. Salsa? Do I ever. Wanna shout? Look, my heart is thumping. Shout! Look, my hands are jumping. Shout! Throw my head back. Shout! Come on now! <laughs> Morning, Martin. Morning, Georgie. How was your weekend, Pet? Lovely, thank you. We took Michaela and her friends out for a picnic. Did her ex them put everyone off their sausage rolls? <laughs> uh, no, that's all cleared up. Good. Cos watching someone scratch themselves to the bleed is not everyone's idea of acting out. <laughs> She, she's fine now. Can I borrow your nice four-colour by raw? Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what it is. Me and some of the other girls down at the Gateshead Community Centre are doing a little fundraiser next Saturday afternoon. Oh, uh, what are you doing? We're doing a round-the-clock pancake flip. <laughs> for all the little victims of sexual harassment in the workplace. That is a really worthy cause. Aye, it is. Did you know that every 38 minutes, some unsuspecting little temp in a short skirt 
bends over to file something in the bottom drawer and gets shagged up the arse. <laughs> Every 38 minutes. If you don't believe me, log on to the website. <laughs> www.bummedbytheboss.co.uk <laughs> How much shall I put you down for? Uh, well, how about 15p an hour? £3.40. For all those poor little secretaries in their vest tops. <laughs> who every time they open their mouths to yawn, someone shoves a cock in it. Put me down, put me down for four pounds. Four pounds. For all those half-dressed little jolly birds was only thanks for Frank in the mail of a Friday afternoon as a face full of jizz. <laughs> I just can't splash it about. Aye, <laughs> I mean, I I... that's it. <laughs> Laugh it off. Maybe you'd feel a little differently if you got flashed on a regular basis by the lads from accounts. R really, it's all I can afford. Four pounds it is, then. I'd like to give you more, but I... Let's say no more about it, cos I wouldn't want it to come between us, pet. Oi, Martin. Get your laughing gear on, though, son! <laughs> and take a weight off. Make some space for the young fella. Or better still, get that stout back side of yours back down the gasworks. Look at the time. They've told you once about your jiggity pokery. You'll be out on your head and then see what you get. I'll make us a nice pot of Lipton's tea. Piping hot, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's some cigarettes on the side. Help yourself, why don't you? Uh, thanks, but I, I don't smoke. <laughs> What's the matter, lad? You feeling a little elsewhere? No, I, I don't smoke. Stick one behind your ear for later. When well, you're feeling better. I oh, bet your guts is hanging out, isn't they? Get that down, ya. That'll fill a hole. Oh. What's this? It's Saturday surprise. I don't eat meat. Stop talking gibberish and eat your giblets. No, no I'm, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> well, blow me down. I never met a real one. And a police officer to boot. They usually go into show business, don't they? <laughs> oh, you see me stays? Oh, pardon me, I didn't know we had company. Hi. How do you do? Detective Sergeant Sam Speed, Thames Valley Police. You keep your eyes out front and your smiles for your mother. <laughs> don't go putting any ideas into my genie's head. She's a big enough dreamer as it is. I've told you before, she's betrothed to the son of a farmer and we need the onions. <laughs> I can dream, Mum. You'll do no such thing. Remember what your grandmother used to say? Slow and steady wins the race, but no good will come from a one-eyed sailor. <laughs> now go into the pantry and help your father organise his boots. <laughs> Get your dash off the table, son. You're not at home anymore, you know. Ma! <laughs> Anyone home? Hello, Va. Why, well, Va, whatever's the matter, you do look queer. Here, I've had ever such a fright. I've just seen the new family moving in at number 47. Yes. Black as you're at, they are every last one of them. <laughs> oh, fine. My Nelly came over all unnecessary when she clapped eyes on them. What a thing to happen. Now, pull yourself together, getting yourself all hot and bothered. Come one, come all, that's what I say. As long as they're decent, Lord-abiding citizens, there's no reason why we can't all live together side by side in peace and harmony. Oh. However... If they think they can start knocking on my door with bones through their noses, they're very good. <laughs> you can't say that. Who's this? Oh, take no notice of Coppertop here. He's had a knock on the head. Well, look at the time. It's ten past six and we haven't had a sing-song yet. Oh, come to the parlour, Vi. Bit of chilling up's what you need. Try 
just as special like the old time coppers when you can't find your way home. <laughs> What's the matter, Sonny? Are you not a singer of songs? Uh, not really. Well, I mean, I know a few. Oh, I should love to hear you sing. You keep your eyes out front, young woman. <laughs> Budge up, Herbert. Come on then, son. Let's see what you're made of. When I find myself in times of trouble, <laughs> Mother Mary, <laughs> speaking words of wisdom, <laughs> let it be. What a blatant racket! Are you trying to get us all? Oh, my lackers! Come on, look sharp, Herbert. Don't stand over there, son. You've embarrassed yourself, so you have. Oh, Vi, what a load of bleeding rubbish. <laughs> Let's all go down the strand. Have a banana. Let's go down the strand. Have a banana. Let's go down the strand. Have a banana. Let's go down the strand. Have a banana. No, it's a disaster. The drummer's got food poisoning. We're going to start the show in ten minutes. Of course they can't do the show without a drum. It's, it's ridiculous. It's a disaster. What's wrong? Well, uh, the Divine Comedy group, the great group, they're on the show, um, and their drummer's got food poisoning. We're about to start in ten minutes, and we don't have a drummer. It's, we can't do the show. I can do that. <laughs> drum? Yeah. Well, can I come through this way? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is your guitar out of tune? <laughs> is that you, darling? Right, Nan. Oh, thank God, Johnny. I'm frightened at my life. Well, it's only a mouse, Nan. Little bastard's been getting me at it. <laughs> Come on, Nan, get down. I've been stood up here since seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> Are you sure you've seen a mouse, Nan? Of course I'm sure. It's been up my leg twice. <laughs> He's torn me tights to pieces. Well, look, it's all right now. I'm here. And the attitude of him. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. As soon as I get into bed at night, he stands outside my door and laughs at me. No, he's not laughing at you. Not much, he ain't. He gets all his little mousy mates round and they come up here and they slide about on my lino till morning. <laughs> they think it's a fucking country club. <laughs> Where? Eddie! <laughs> see it. Eddie! Come on, man. Oh, I bet he's gone in my kitchen, greedy little git. <laughs> he's already gnawed through a box of rich. Now, don't get me wrong, they are very moorish, but you ain't got to eat them up. Have you put anything down for it? Yeah, I put a little mattress down by the skirt. <laughs> I mean poison. There's a bucket load of it in there, but he turns his nose up at it. <laughs> he ain't got any room, see, cos he's stuffed his massy guts full of crackers. <laughs> oh, there he is! <laughs> no, it's all right, Nan, it's just the post. What, he's using my address now? <laughs> to go and cash his mousey gyro next. <laughs> what a fucking limit!
Look, there he is. Oh, where? Next to the microwave. He's eyeing up me mint viscount so fast. Now, get in there, son, and sort him out. I can't use this. He's been terrorising me for a fortnight. Now, you get in there quick enough if Stephen Gately asked ya. <laughs> Go on, son, get in there before he tears the place apart. No, Nan. Now, he's making my nerves bad. <laughs> I've done it, Nan. Did you do it? Yeah. Finish? All done. Is it gone? Yeah, I killed it. You what? <laughs> I killed it. You did what? <laughs> I killed the mouse. You fucking murdering bastard! <laughs> but you asked me to. I only wanted you to shoo it gently on its way. <laughs> little mousy brains out. <laughs> Thought that's what you wanted. What, to kill me lovely little Mickey? He <laughs> was the only bit of company I had. <laughs> be round about this time, we'd be settling into what countdown. <laughs> I'll throw him a lump of cheese, you wouldn't hear a peep out of him till Emma day. Oh, I will miss him. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I used to put Radio 2 on in the afternoon and he'd run up and down them curtains. <laughs> he was a born entertainer. I'm sorry, Nan. I'll never be able to look her it's cracker in the face again. <laughs> I said I'm sorry. No, well, it's all right, son. You weren't to know. <sighs> <laughs> Jules Holland is back, minus Catherine on drums, for a new series of Later with Jules tomorrow night. Live sessions from Jack White and the Raconteurs and Muse, Friday night at 11.35. I stay here on BBC Two, Thursday Night Comedy with Jack D, next. Take me by the hand.